What's up everyone, Sean Kyle Blagrath here today doing a collection update. This is the stuff that I won from the ABC, AB, nah, kill me, from the ABC Metal Vinyl Challenge on Instagram, uh, which was done by the artist Justin Bartlett, aka, K, AKA why can't I talk today? Done by the artist Justin Bartlett, a.k.a. Ubercult, who has done artwork for bands such as Dragged Into Sunlight, Lord Manus, Sun, Wolves in a Throne Room, Trap Them, etc. One of my favorite artists of all time. And uh, he hosted this contest. I happened to get first prize, and I will show you what I won. Now, first thing that I won that's included in this prize pack is this art print set signed by him. Um, contained within it, there was also a patch that he designed, which is fucking sweet. I love this. But contained within it are these mini art prints. And these are fucking incredible. I need to get some, uh, frames for these. It's probably my, probably my favorite of the bunch. If I can get it right, okay. And the last one, that one's fucking amazing. I do want to frame all these, but this is extremely cool. I was very stoked to uh, get these. I also won a uh, skate deck, which I will grab right now. Now, I have it hanging on my wall off by my door, and here it is. This is sick. I love this. Pro tip, if you want to hang your uh, skate decks, fishing line, right? Yeah, you can barely see it. Just long enough, hang it by a nail. But yeah, this design is fucking amazing. And the only thing that kind of sucks is I like to skateboard. I like to cruise around. I don't really do tricks anymore. I used to back in like middle and high school, but... Music is safer, I don't feel like breaking my ankle. Um, so, but yeah, my skate deck is literally from 10 years ago. I When I turned 16, I'm 26. I got my 16th birthday, so it's 10 years old. It's a 7.5 for those of you that skate, you know, the sizes of the decks. Uh, it's too small for me now, so it's my feet like hang off it, but I stood on this and it's like the right size, and I kind of want to slap some trucks on it, but I would never do that with this. But, yeah, I thought this was extremely cool. I love this, and now I kind of want to collect skate decks. On top of all that, I also won this original drawing done by Justin himself, and oh my god, it's amazing. I'm also going to be framing this. Just the detail. I love that there's still eyes to him, even though the faces are blacked out. Super disturbing. Just incredible. You can tell. Justin has such a distinct style. You know it's him immediately. And I absolutely love this. I could not be happier to uh, have this along with all this other dope shit that I won. On top of all this other stuff, I won a gift card to uh, 20 bucks Spin, which I did the unboxing for, and a free shirt of my choice from Holy Mountain Printing. And this is the shirt I picked. Dragged into sunlight. Fucking love dragged into sunlight. I love this design. Watching, waiting, drag them out. Isn't that correct, Wyatt? But yeah, it says watching, waiting, visible. Uh, fucking love this shirt. Uh, funny story, when I showed this to my mom for the first time when it came in the mail, she's like, oh, what'd you get? It's like a shirt. She's like, oh, let me see it. And I showed her the front. She's like, Oh, that's not bad. I'm like, well, here's the back. And homie's getting hung. And she was none too pleased that her son is going to be walking around wearing that. Alright, so on top of all this other stuff that won, all this amazing shit, I also won four records from Justin. And here they are. First record, the one that I wasn't very familiar with. But I'm so glad I got this because I'm now a big fan of this project which is Grave Temple. And this is the demo, uh, demos, I guess it's a compilation, Ambient and Ruin. 
Um, from what I've been able to gather, the first half is the first demo, Ambia, and then Ruin it has some live tracks. This is some terrifying drone. Artwork, of course, done by Justin Bartlett. Fucking terrifying. Um, if you don't know what this band is, as I said, it's Drone. I believe one of the members of Sun is involved. I can't remember which member off the top of my head. I feel like an idiot. And Attila Shahar from Mayhem does uh, vocals on this. And it is just absolutely nightmarish. Comes in a very cool gatefold, extremely glossy, very minimalist. There's no printed inner sleeves and 2LP standard weight on just black vinyl, very basic center labels. But this is some total nightmare fuel if you want something that's uh, just absolutely fucked up sounding. When I first listened to this, I was listening to it with my like lights on and everything, and I was like, this is cool, but it didn't really hit me. And then it was like, I'll go back and give it a listen. And I turned the lights off, and I had no light coming from anything in my room. Just listening to this record straight, and this is absolutely terrifying. The thing that makes it so terrifying to me is Attila's vocals. He's, in my opinion, one of the best vocalists ever in all of metal. The dude is absolutely phenomenal between his extremely creepy, some people would say almost Dagon-esque, like sort of shit. That was probably a bad impression. He has a range to do fucking everything, including throat singing. This dude is just phenomenal. And it just blows my mind how good of a vocalist he is and how he can transform something that to me, I've never really been a big fan of Drone. Drone is one of those things where I have to be in the right mood for it. And if I'm not, it's awful. Like, Sun, I can listen to if I'm in the mood for it. And if I'm not and I hear it, I'm just like, this is fucking awful. He has the ability to transfer something like that to being something that I can listen to pretty much at any time. Just from the vocals alone. This is absolutely amazing. If you want some really terrifying stuff, check it out. I'll link everything in the description below if you want to uh, check this out. Definitely worth your time. Uh, next record I have to show, this is one that I was super stoked about getting in this. The rest of these records I was very familiar with, and I've been wanting to own on vinyl, so this worked out really well. Uh, God, I'm so stoked to have this. This is Lord Manus with Perverter. If you don't know Lord Manus, they are a band from, I believe, Chicago, Illinois. They uh, play, like, black and sludge sort of shit. This is, I would say their album that came after this is much more blackened. Uh, but this one is still just absolutely evil. I mean, look at that artwork. Once again, done by Justin Bartlett. This is nightmarish. And that's what I love so much about this type of music. Love that gatefold. Inside of the gatefold. Now, if you really aren't familiar with Lord Manus, and I feel like you should be, um, listen to the song Septic Christ. That shit is just so evil sounding. It's heavy, it's abrasive, it's obnoxious, it's nightmarish. The vocals just sound so creepy. It's not your typical vocal style. In a way, it almost reminds me, in very odd sort of way, it's like a more abrasive, uh, I believe, Mike 9, if I remember correctly, from um, I Hate God. I think that's his name, Mike 9. I could be wrong. Um, I can't remember the Roman numeral. Anyways, uh, his voice kind of reminds me of that with that very like snarling sort of quality. Yeah, it's more abrasive and a bit more aligned with what you'd expect from, like, black metal. This is just an absolutely terrifying record from start to finish. And if you don't know these guys, definitely check them out. I feel like most people do know them. Um, comes with a poster of the artwork, which is very cool. Uh, this was put out by Hammerheart Records. It's relatively easy to find if you want to get a copy. I believe it's, if 
like on Discogs, it's like twenty dollars or something like that. Well worth it. Um, songs to check out from this. If I can link the whole album below, I will. Uh, Septic Christ, uh, Ritual Killer, uh, At the Mouth, The Whip and the Body. Oh, dude. Just the song titles alone, it kind of tells you what you're getting yourself into. So, yeah, if you haven't listened to Lord Manus, definitely check him out. This shit is incredible. This next record is something that everyone and their mother was cranking their hog over when it came out last year. I don't know why I never picked it up, and I'm kind of glad I didn't, because now I have it. It's really an incredible album. Um, Blood Incantation with Star Spawn. Holy hell. This album is amazing. Now, if you don't know Blood Incantation for some reason, I feel like everyone knows them at this point. It's basically, they're the second coming of Time Ghoul, the way I see it. These dudes are just some of the best going right now in terms of just old school style death metal, and especially of the more technical realm of death metal. This is like... You could almost call it atmospheric death metal. It has like almost a sort of atmosphere that you'd find on a dark space record in an odd sort of way. And a lot of that has to do with the keys that are used. They do use keyboards. So I guess if you're a fan of Nocturnus, I could see you definitely enjoying this. It's relatively short, unfortunately. I wish it was longer, but oh, it's so damn good. Um... Just very expansive songwriting. It just stretches beyond the realms of your typical old-school run-of-the-mill death metal. There's nothing run-of-the-mill about these dudes. They're truly doing something unique with what I feel like to be a completely beat-in-the-ground genre. You can't do much with old-school death metal while still maintaining the old-school death metal sound. Yet these guys did, and for that alone... They deserve all the props in the world. And they actually made me like a old school death metal record, which is very, very rare for me nowadays. So if you haven't checked this out, definitely do so. Uh, Dark Descent just repressed this, I think, for like the fourth time. Uh, this comes with a couple cool things. First thing, lyric sheet. Song I would definitely recommend would be... Uh, Vitrification of Blood Part 1. It's like 12 minutes long. Highly recommend that song. I will have it linked in the description below. Potentially the whole album if I can find it. On the back. Credits and all that. And before people ask, no, I haven't pre-ordered the new Spectral Voice yet. I want to, but uh, no money at the moment. Anyways, really cool poster. Love that. Very odd, but I like it a lot. And I was very surprised to see this because this version sells for a lot on Discogs. And when I saw that this was the version I had, I thought I was just going to get the black vinyl. I nearly shat my knickers. But I got the red vinyl. This is amazing. I love red vinyl. I love that center label with the Dark Descent logo, that very old school sort of look. I like that a lot of bands are going back to this sort of center label. Really dig it. Very cool. Very happy to have this. Um, definitely check out Blood Incantation with Star Spawn if you haven't already, which I'm sure the majority of you have. And the last record, but most certainly not least, I've been after this vinyl for quite a while. I just never pulled the trigger on it. Um, I had the cassette version. Still do. I don't know why I said had. Uh, this is Darker Handcraft by Trap Them. Fucking finally I have this on vinyl. I love this album so much. If you're not familiar with Trap Them, they're like a crust... Crusty, hardcore, kind of grind at points. But I would say they're more in line with like Converge and that sort of shit. So if you're familiar with Converge, you already know what to kind of expect with this. Just a bit more crust punk rooted. Very plain gatefold, but I love what it says. Where there is no light, there is chaos. Uh, this album is just incredible. The 
the song The Facts. Everyone should fucking know that song if you're into Trap Them. It's a classic from them at this point. Um, Damage Pros, Slum Cult, and Gather. Oh, man. Uh, Manic, Maniac in the Grips. Fucking Sovereign Through the Pines. This is so damn good. If you haven't checked this out, there's a major problem. Um, pretty basic package. I'll show it to you. Uh, has a printed air sleeve, and thankfully it didn't come in this because, as you can see, it is paper thin. Love that artwork. And on the back, you have credits. And I was very surprised to see this. I thought it was just going to be black vinyl, but this is the first press tour edition on this, like, silver gray marble sort of vinyl. Absolutely love this. Killer looking record. It looks amazing with the center labels. Uh, if you have not checked out Trap Them, do yourself the favor and check them out immediately. Incredible, incredible band. And uh, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you so much for uh, checking this out. All of the stuff that I talked about will be in the description for you to check out. Uh, Justin Bartlett's Instagram, um, his website, Uber Cult, um, all the bands I talked about. All that good shit, including Holy Mountain Printing. Check them out. One of my favorite places to order merch from. And uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.